demons don't just find comfort arbitrarily they depend on the wrong mental construct of the victim to keep remaining comfortable in that victim are we together so what demon spirits do is that before they attack an individual they bring together wrong information that constructs your mindset negatively and when they find that negative construction the demon spirits come and fortify that thought pattern so that you will not change from thinking that way now it becomes a free way for them because provided you have a negative thought pattern no matter how many times they cast out demons they will go with joy because they know the door is open you are not afraid of leaving your house because you have the key is that true have you had times where you left the key inside or for some reason you don't have the key and the door was locked now you get stranded and you get afraid demon spirit need not be afraid if they still have a firm control of your negative thought pattern please you have to learn this many believers rejoice in the fact that they've been free from demon spirits but these spirits easily and almost effortlessly return to the people why because they do not contend for transformation the moment they are delivered they say amen or demons are casted out they say amen they are happy and then they are flattered by the instant results they begin to receive and they no longer come to church they no longer open up themselves to the ministry of the teaching priest you see one of the blessings of coming to the house of god is that you are submitting your mindset are we together now the word of god attacks your mindset directly it begins to deconstruct the old and poor and negative thinking patterns that came from culture poor prior mentorship are we together inaccurate understanding of scripture because i told you the truth without balance can still destroy so when you submit yourself to doctrine among the many things it achieves is it begins to give you a superior enlightenment say amen, amen. i wrote down here let's look at let me let me give you two or three more scriptures proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23 proverbs 4 and 23 thank you jesus it says keep or guard your heart with all diligence for out of it heart is interchanged for mind many times in scripture for out of it are the issues of life you have a responsibility to keep protect guard your mind guard your heart are we together romans chapter 12 and verse 2 it says and do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind say the renewing of your mind most believers hate church and they don't know it's an attack believers like thanksgiving believers like celebration believers like anniversaries believers like gathering picnics and all of these things but the moment you say come to church to learn most believers see that i'm showing you how these spirits work as soon as the word of god is coming they manifest as slumber there is no reason to be tired you didn't come from you slept all day and you are still sleeping in the house of god even when a loud song of worship is raised you still don't wake up it's an attack are we together and then you find other expressions like distraction when your word is about to come your eyes just goes to your whatever it is your your phone whatever they are sending and it may not be something that is so necessary that you have to attend to and before you know it you are distracted and your word passes off you because you were not discerning falls on bad ground good seed but bad ground and it does not produce any results listen i want you to be very intentional about your mental transformation through the word of god the true secret for sustaining 
your deliverance in addition to casting out the spirit influence that one can happen in a moment transformation does not happen in a moment it takes one shout of the name of jesus to dislodge spirits no matter how age long but it will take a while quite a while because you have to deconstruct your understanding across several thoughts and then begin to remold it again that one is my assignment and by the grace of god he's granted me the grace to be a wise master builder and will build with intention provided you are willing to allow your mind to be built can i tell you there are people who sit in church and they it's almost as if they have vowed not to change no matter the fire that comes from the altar you will be surprised how it will fall on a mind that has refused to change you must open up your heart to be disloyal to any thoughts that is inconsistent with the ways of god are we together renewal and transformation happens through knowledge please write that down renewal and transformation happens through knowledge renewal and transformation happens through knowledge renewal and transformation happens through knowledge write this down please all believers need the ministry of the teaching priest the teaching priest here can refer to your pastor the apostolic ministry any ministry that is committed to the sound teaching of the word may i by this charge encourage those who are ministry here and co-laborers in the gospel please let us focus on building believers rather than exciting them it's good to excite because the gospel is called good news but we must obtain grace to sit down and teach please look up can i tell you the way i will preach in a conference or in a convention might be slightly different from the way i'll teach you in koinonia koinonia this is home i seek to build methodically and so i'm not in a rush are we together in a conference you are bound by time you may just have a day or two a session or two so you can squeeze in anything there but when you are teaching your people settle down where are you rushing to they are there with you don't be under unnecessary competition to bring rema teach doctrine 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 teach and repeat what you taught again and repeat it again it must not always be newness but let it be freshness don't teach once and assume the people have gotten it this is the secret that fathers like papa hagin and copeland they keep teaching and teaching to a point where the entire congregation gradually comes into that body of knowledge when you assess the average member you see that they have a thorough understanding of certain doctrines maybe not everything but in the area of grace they know it thoroughly the average believer in the nigerian church i submit to you not all the case but most of the case you call random pick an average And interview the believer along the lines of spiritual knowledge and you will live there with pain in your heart what do you know about God what do you know about Jesus he saved me what else nothing what do you know about the house of God nothing 
What do you know about prayer? Nothing. What do you know about the Holy Spirit? Nothing. What do you know about finances? Nothing. What do you know about advancement? Nothing. What do you know about kingdom come? Nothing. What have you then been learning? Listen. I, I, when I came into the city, I was, I was surprised at the amount people pay for school fees. Now, let me ask you, dear parents. When you send your child to a school and stretch yourself from pillar to post to cough out the school fees and pay, and your child returns back with a clean uniform and you ask him a question, young man, what class are you? And he says, I'm in class, whatever he is. And then you ask him questions that relate to that class. He gets zero based on your, you are not the teacher. And yet what you are asking, he's not getting anything. You ask questions at a lower level. He still does not get anything. What are you going to do to the teacher? There's something called PTA. Is that true? Many of you will sit down there before it starts. You will sit in front and say, listen, I, I need to, un who is teaching this child? How can I pay this much and my child is not getting anything? Math, zero, English, zero, whatever, zero. But there are schools that when you take your child in three weeks, you will see the difference. Has that happened to you? May that be your school in Jesus' name. Three weeks. Obedient, cautious, intelligent. He speaks with you like an adult. And you say, who taught you? My teacher. What is the person's name? We, 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 he, he will articulate the name of the teacher. You can see students sit down with teachers and discussing with the intelligence of adults. If they tell you they've added the school fees by 200,000, it may not be the best, but you are motivated by that result. Members will not, will not indefinitely drag themselves.
to a place where they don't grow they will be tired and one day anything will be an excuse rain fuel nigeria anything will be an excuse yes the consolation the consolation you have is that when you pay that price and get seated you have done your own part you allow the word of god to come i vowed with god that i will never stand on this pulpit and waste your time my dear people of god i love jesus and i love you too much to stand here and waste your time are we together i cherish the sacrifice of your time traveling there are people did you know that there are people who don't live in nigeria and travel every week I've, I've found reasons to say why don't you just come for miracle service how do you leave another nation and come and sit down and then i waste your time and share the grace you go back with your challenges and there is nothing that is a token of the presence of god everybody say deliverance through transformation